In Gmail, we can use the artificial intelligence to draft a message based on our prompts. We can use the Help Me Write button to Gmail. Recently, the Gmail incorporated a Google Workspace features that is none other than Help Me Write. Write a new draft using a free form prompt. For example, you can ask the Gmail to write a birthday invitation or teacher day invitation or write an introduction to any subjects. Similarly, refine a draft. For example, you can rephrase the draft or make the draft more formal, more concise or more detailed. Let us join this demonstration. It is a Gmail user interface. As we know for composing email, we have to click the compose button. Once you click the compose, you may get a new message compose features. For maximizing the, the compose mail and clicking this full screen options. So I may get a full screen now. Now there is a help me write button. It's recently added in the case of Google Workspace account. Now if it comes down the send button, there is a E that's called formatting options. Near to the there is a one pen symbol. So this is called help me write workspace lab. This is a feature recently added into the our Gmail workspace. So now you can see this help me write. Suppose I want to send a teacher's day greetings messages to my teachers. Once I click this option, I may get this help me write features. Once I click the help me write, there may be a small menu. There I'm just typing like this, teacher's day greeting. So I am like to give a small prompting, teacher's day greeting. Then click create options. Once I click the create option, there is a draft email. It's, going, it's composed by the artificial intelligence. Yeah, I got a draft email now. Teacher's Day greetings, dear teacher's name. If you want to do editing the teacher's name, we can do this. Happy Teacher's Day. I hope you are the wonderful celebrations, all that you do, your students. You are the inspiration to us all and we are grateful for your dedication and our work. And suppose you like to give a rating, you can give the rating. So this way, the A is helping us to be composing email. And one more thing, suppose you are not satisfied this kind of um, artificial intelligence response we have some kind of refine option also this also written by the a only if you click this refine we have the four option formalized email elaborate email shorten email i am feeling like suppose i want to convert this the draft email into formalized way i can click the formalize once you click this formalize there may be another draft in a formal email way it may be coming like a formal email draft is coming now you can see now the message to be somewhat formal Suppose I like to go with some kind of elaborate way. I can click this elaborate. So now the artificial intelligence is going to re rephrasing the previous draft in a elaborate way. Now I got this elaborate way of email composing. And similarly, there is an option called shorten. Suppose I want to shorten instead of going to elaborate, I can click the shorten. Now the same email draft is converting to a very shortened email draft. Now I got this. Similarly, if you like, then we can click this. I'm feeling lucky. You may get this another draft. Like this, they, uh, the Google user interface creating a, uh, giving a good option for us to write a email in the case of AI. So because AI helping us to be composed email. And suppose you want to recreate once again, click this recreate. Now I recreate the same thing once again. So like this much of options are available as far as help me write features. In the A. Now I feel to be send this mail to my teachers. I can click the insert. So once I click the insert, automatically the mails comes to um, the mail information to be inserted into the compose view. And I'm just typing dear sir. And uh, you can type our name. So I can type my name. And uh, these are things if you want to delete, you can delete it. And after this, you can send a mail to the respective teachers. So I'm sending a mail to my respective teachers. Then happy teachers day then finally we can send so once you send it goes to the the respective teachers and similarly suppose you want to replay a email instead of composing a new mail see there is a one mail i got it recently so one madam is inviting for me as a resource person for one program for this same mail i want to send a response and replay to her so what i'm going to do so the same email we have to go with replay when you click this replay Automatically, the A is uh, read this the uh, the mail which they sent from from their uh, account, and just I'm giving a small prompt. So help me, right? I'm giving a small prompt. So here I'm giving this. I'm accepting the invitation. So this uh, things I want to give this. So they invited me. I'm giving the response. I'm inviting the. Uh, I'm accepting the invitations. After this, I click the create. 
now you can see based on their message and based on my prompt uh, now the AE is writing a very wonderful composing mail now you can see dear chalamal because the response the mail sent by the chalamal madam so the same name is coming thank for invitations i am honored to be part of the hands-on session i will be happy to provide any assistance you need so like this the mails composing uh, by the ai features then finally if you want to click insert you can click the insert then if you like to send back to the respective um, persons you can click the send button so now i send this mail the mails may send to her so this will be now the help me write features it's nothing but the a feature may helping to write a wonderful email hope this video is very much useful for you we will meet in the next video bye